What's up, everybody? Brett here, back today playing some more of our Torox Vortex campaign. Let's play. Our boy here is ready to go. He's steaming up. We are going to be taking on some Wood Elves today, and it's going to be quite a challenge. I'm looking forward to it. The Scissors of Twilight are going down, but our first real challenge is yeah. to get past Tree Singer Lurin and his massive army of Glaygard. I actually am terrified of Glaygard. I'm going to be honest with you guys, especially playing as the Beastmen. We've got some shielded troops, uh, which will help us get in there, but... Oh, man, we're going to get torn to pieces. They're not heavy armor piercing, but we're not heavily armored. So that's not really an issue. Um, we also, guys, at the end of the last episode, we recruited Kazrak One-Eye. And his army is almost ready to go next turn. I don't think I'm going to be attacking Master Bleakhold Fortress. Uh, I might. I, bring a I might, actually. Fire. Do I have anything that's going to give me siege attack? I do not. So we would actually have to besiege this, which isn't terrible. Uh, that could open up some fun possibilities for us. I was thinking more of we go up here and start messing with the Skaven. Because Tretch declared war on us. And I'd love uh, to get Kazrak to be the guy that kills him. His army, honestly, not bad uh, at dealing with... God dang it, it's so hard to click. His army's not bad at dealing with Skaven. Once this is this is done, this is a pretty good early game Skaven killing army. Uh, but alright, let's get on to what we were doing. We unlocked finally the first tier of Rampage, Harsh Rampage. And we are going to hopefully start going boom, 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 boom like a ping pong ball across the map. We also, at the very end of the last episode, unlocked the ability to recruit giants. We got the giant slayer. Some giants will meander into the forest and make a large cave their home if it's not already inhabited. Uh, we, st we got a long way to go before we can get gorgons uh, and cygors, but this is the dream here. Uh, and at least we have the foundation set up. So I'm happy about that. I would love to get manticores and, and such. Uh, the Probably the biggest dream for today is to get the pelt totem. Uh, I want to get Wargores in the party, and I want to get um, Bestigors, as many Bestigors as possible. Uh, we're gonna, That's probably one of the places we're going to spend a lot of our dread in upgrades. But alright guys, that's enough talk. Uh, Torox demands action. We go into the Temple of Adiath. And we will do our best. A Pyrrhic victory. Ooh, it claims my Minotaurs. That's no good. This is a scary army. If I'm controlling this army, I decimate this army. Ab absolute decimation, not even close. On higher difficulties, fighting stacks like this of Wood Elves is a nightmare because their leadership is like unbreakable. So you're just constantly having to stay on top of all their archers. Because the AI, of course, has no problem, um, you know, microwing as many archers as you give them. As many Glade, glade gentlemen as, the, as there are. So they just constantly be, you know, returning to the fight. We don't quite have that many assets for chasing. The Razor Gores are going to be good for that. The Chariots are good for that. But that's it. So once we start routing stuff, we re I mean, we really have to stay on top of them. And Vanguard Deployment is definitely our friend. Um, although, I'm a little worried because we don't have that much... Hmm... Our front line isn't really that big. I mean, we're going to... If we charge in right here with this, they're just going to get routed. They're going to get shot to pieces and routed. I almost would rather go in together. But we're going to try. We're just going to have to rely on the speed of the Beastmen to get us in as quickly as possible. Um, you guys cannot Vanguard deploy. So let's do what we did last time. Let's make a bit of a... Secondary line of beasts, and then their job will be to just run right through the front line and get in there. Uh, let the front line take all the damage. Chariots would be great here if I had more of them. I've only got one, sadly. And our Cygor summons are going to be super clutch, so we need to make sure we we stay on top of that. Start our deployment. I'm a little bit terrified, y'all, but we're going to do our best. All right. Here we go. Let's get in. We've got to kill the Lord fast. There's nothing... I mean, there's nothing for it but to do it. And of course, these are Cygors. We can summon them right away. Um, I want to summon them right away, mostly for the cooldown. 
Uh, however, there's something to be said for bringing them into melee and letting them absorb a lot of damage for us. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about right here. Go kill the war dancers, man. God, this is so painful. Go this way. Crush them. Keep pushing through. Go, guys. Go. Yeah, we're getting dunked. We, like, don't even have enough to field versus these dudes. Getting our raiders to trade against their raiders. We gotta get in here. We gotta kill their lord. This is not what we want. And they have so many spears. Oh my god, this is not a good fight. Push through, push through, mighty Bray Herd. The tree kin got decimated. The gorgons in and amongst the chaff. We just have to keep giving them targets. Wow, we could summon even more? We have to stay on top of them. Everybody needs to keep attacking. Get them, Torox. Get them. Sorry, guys. This is definitely a top-down type of battle. Let's use our, our speed bonus there. All right. Some of our boys are, are out of the fight now. Our Cygors. Can summon another one. I don't want to lose my Minotaurs. These guys are uh, heavily chevroned. And I'd prefer not to lose them. Let's keep pushing through. Chariots are now into... Unfortunately, they're into spears. We gotta get rid of that. Kill Dryads. That's a good fight for you. Just have to keep this stuff busy. Torox is doing great. He hasn't taken any damage yet. Bit of a whiff on that, but I'm okay with it. Finish them. Alright, this guy is having a bit of a time. Cast. Nice, the boulders are going in. Gotta route these off. Cannot let them return. Unfortunately, our Razor Gore herd has... Broken off. Our chariots, where are they? They're, they're gone. Get out, get out, get out. You go here, you go here. Good, the tree can are broken. Stay in there, Gorbel. Slaughter them. In melee, they got nothing for him. 36 kills on a summon unit is not bad. And with the Lord gone, I mean, he's going to go out this hit. Yes, please. Please rally and, and help us. Chariots. For those of you who have never seen... Torox versus the Treeman. That's a pretty good fight. He just needs to get an attack animation. Come on, man. See if we can get him a charge. The game bugs sometimes. It is what it is. You guys got to deal with it. Figure it out. Make sure we hit our charge. And Wild Riders. Ungor's going to be good versus them. He's just broken. He will 100% come back if we let him. We can't let this happen. You gotta go, homie. See? He came right back. Gorgon. This is what we don't want to happen. The Gorgon has been split and is getting shot to pieces. I see, like, just tons of... Archers everywhere. Alright, Tree Man went down. Chase them off. They're not yet shattered. 
We can lose everything, but uh, I don't want to lose my Minotaurs. Oh my god, come back in, guys. I've got a pretty healthy group of Minotaurs right here. You guys can go there. Torox needs to get in. Oh no, my Gorbel. No, 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 no. Get out. Come on, Gorgon. Let's go. Oh, no, no. Maybe I need to stay on those guys. Run. Run, run, run. As far as you can. As fast as you can. I need to keep all of these dudes occupied. Got a thousand HP. We're not in any, like, ama like, crazy danger. What is this? Some spears. They chased off the Glade Riders. Yeah, this fight was never going to be clean. The AI was being, honestly, a little bit generous and only killing a few of my units. Crushed. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm so annoyed. It's going to take forever to kill these dudes. Come on, Minotaurs. God dang it. Now I'm getting shot in the back. Alright, run, run, run. This is what I'm talking about with the leadership. We're going to have a bad time. The archers have to go. And there goes my Minotaurs. I've got one left. It's probably going to get sniped. Just leave, man. They're not going to be able to kill Torox. The Gorgon is still getting good value. I can see his healing cap, so he's definitely done uh, a lot of healing. Caster's down to four. Winds of Magic, that's not going to be relevant. No, run, man. I would rather you run. Withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. Gotta remember the withdraw button is always an option if you need it. Send him off the battlefield for his own safety. And we'll, we'll nerf these guys' melee attack. So that the Gorgon cannot take as much damage. Alright, let's go. Enter these Glade Guard that still have ammo. Torox also has regen, doesn't he? Didn't I give him a set of armor with regen? Yeah. Yeah, they're not... They can't kill him. You guys come here. God dang it. And they're shooting my other group of minotaurs. Run, run, run. Raiders can get shot all day. I'm not... I don't want to lose my minotaurs. Although it might be better to lose them and re-recruit them. Being real, guys, is exactly how I thought this fight would go. These things would just... These Glagar would just stick around forever. And in the end, we would have to make them fight. Make them fight Torox to the bitter end. And we'll just get these uh, these types of picks where we can. Once the Glagars run out of ammo... I mean, they're, they're not good in melee. Not at all. No, I, don't, I honestly don't want to fight those Eternal Guard. Let's get over here. Yeah, and we'll just, like, instantly crush. They get instantly crushed. You guys get instantly crushed. Keep killing. And even though we killed their Lord right at the beginning, because they have so much ammo, they still think they can win. And there we go. Jesus. This was the tough fight, y'all. Could let myself regen a, a tiny bit. Scary. Yeah, if you think this is an easy fight, you crazy. I could have done some cheese where I like run Torox back and forth or something to try and waste a bunch of ammo. I don't play like that. We got to get in there. We're beastmen, and to, to their credit, my boys did did great. Without that extra bit of garrison help, maybe we get in there a lot faster. I mean, the Wild Riders did big work. 
And really, we only lost one Ungor herd. But boy, do we need replenishment. Yeah, let's raise and advance. Challenge completed. The Dark Gods are pleased. We killed the Tree Singer. We got a Charm Shield, which is nice. Missile Parry plus Damage Resistance. Boy, would that have been useful in that last battle. And we've unlocked the Black Horns Ravagers, another very good unit. The monotonal drones of their crude pipes announce the arrival of the most savage, rowdy, undisciplined, and deadly. You know what? I like these guys, but I want to give them the Kazrak, I think. We're going to need to recuperate after that. That was devastating. We're going to go back into our area here. We're going to camp. We're going to get a giant. And what else do we have available? A giant and... That's it, huh? Yeah, that's okay. Let's get our giant. Let's get our healing. And then now we have Favorite of the Skull Throne. Corn grants multitudinous gifts for the purposes of war, but Torox's gift is perhaps the greatest of any one beastman. He lowers enemy wins of magic power reserve by 15. That's huge. 25% magic resistance for your entire army basically turns us into dwarves. And then he gets Brass Body, which would have been very useful in the last fight, giving us damage resistance and melee defense. Um, he basically would have been borderline invulnerable. He would have taken almost half as much damage that fight, uh, which of course is not insignificant. Let's get uh, Earthing here. And then with our current amount of money, I mean, we have options. We could finally get the Scorched Grass Plains. Tempted to get Impaled Corpses for the Cacophonous uh, Assault ability, which I think is pretty sweet, especially if we're a Vanguard deployment heavy army, but also just getting 30 extra Dread a turn feels really strong. Or going, you know, higher tier, going for the Pits of Horror. A lot of this is very tempting. The problem is I know I won't use these units in this army if I get them. So I don't really want to waste my time on that. I really want to get the Pelt Totem. But I also wouldn't mind Feral Manticores plus Chaos Spawn. And this is something I want to get sooner rather than later because it's... Dread is one of those resources we're going to use for the rest of the game. So the sooner we get it rolling, the better. I think I think I will get that. It's going to help me in the immediate term. And then here, I wasn't even thinking about my two regiments of renown. Let's get rid of these two raiders. I don't need them. Let's bring these guys in. And then at 14, we're going to get the group. These guys are new. The Grog Hooves of Wolf's Run. Regenerating Poison Throwing... Centigars with throwing axes. These guys are super strong. Can't wait to get those, but let's get these dudes in here. They've got Rowdy. Let's see, Stalk. Vanguard deployment, right? They just have really good stats. And also, the Destroyers of Drakenwald have poison melee attacks, which is, you know, unique for a, uh, a guy like them, for the Ungors. Um, we could also... No, never mind. I don't have... Or I do, actually. I can, uh, I can recruit the Ungor Herds. I can get rid of these dudes. Like that. Let's do something like this. I think that's a little bit better of an army composition. And then we'll be ready to go with them next turn. But boy, do we need to heal quickly. Our replenishment rate is good. Is I mean, it's very good. And we're going to get our giant. Just kind of wanted to see if I could see any other... Um, any other beastmen nearby, just to know what's going on. And our blood ground. We have not yet even begun to take it out. We want to get the Witchwood ASAP.
Who got the level? Gorbel. We need to see who to give that armor to as well. Keep boosting that HP. Extra couple hundred HP there would, you know, it would not have been bad for that fight had we had it. Charm shield. Nice to give you something. And we can get to the Witchwood this turn. And I think we have to. I have better things to Casualties low. This is a, an army I can definitely bully with just Torox plus. You know, I could send in Torox, a giant. I could use my other stuff to kind of bully from the periphery. But let's let's do a quick save into an auto resolve and see what type of casualties we're talking about. And that's very respectable. I'll take that from the auto resolve. Hear this gross bubbling noise. Raise in advance. Raise in advance. Oh, wow. Look at this. Um. This does wonders for me. I'm going to loot and raise. That's enough right now to... Savage Rampage achieved also. That's enough right now to to really change our our game up a little bit to get the best of gores and potentially other things. The Dark Gods are impressed by your recent battle streak. You may now invoke them to empower the Warherd with greater campaign capabilities. Maintain your current momentum by continually winning battles to increase your current Cataclysmic Rampage streak. Okay. So I'm ready for Savage Rampage, is that what you're telling me? I get a hundred dread. Income from raising settlements and horde bidding construction costs minus another 20%. That would be nice because I'm about to spend a bunch of money on that. Um, dread gain from battles plus 25%. If I knew I was going to be going like a lot of battles in the next five turns, this would be huge, but I don't think I am. Uh, Solar Eclipse Dark Moon event will trigger next turn. Okay, I'm not, I don't know what exactly that entails. And then... Stampede of the Chosen. Momentum cost to replenish campaign movement range minus one. I feel like this might be it, but I don't I don't know enough about I don't understand, I guess, the momentum mechanic to know just how good or bad this is, but I do know that I'll save a lot of favor if I get this. Like a lot. And I'll potentially be able to get even a third uh building for our horde. If I do this. So let's take this one. And 100 dread is nothing to sneeze at as well. Putting us over 500. Alright, we'll do that. We'll camp. Get some more replenishment. And with this cash, what does it cost now? 4100 to get our pelt totem. We definitely want that. And then what are these other options here? So we haven't even looked at these. Uh, the Mound of Blades or the Pile of Flesh. What do they do? Valuable metal blades taken during raids are placed in a mound or stood against the herdstone itself. Increased magic item drop chance. Income from post-battle loot 10% is nice. And then Touched by the Moon as an army ability. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm assuming it's good though. And this one gives Vile Entropy as an army ability. Hmm. Yeah, guys, I don't know. Uh, but we have some other good options here. I can upgrade, get the Pits of Horror. And I can come over here and get the Scorched Grass Plains. So by 96 total favor, uh, with that nice little play there, we're able to get three big uh, upgrades for us. And then we're going to be resting anyway, so we're going to get that, that chance to kind of recuperate that we wanted anyhow. Not bad. Not a bad turn. And then Kazrak, the one eye, is ready. And I think Tretch has like settled all of this area. So I want to come here and start crushing this. I th ooh. Dread Lord of the you know what? Because they just took the Bleak Hold Fortress, I'm going to pick a fight with Marathi now. That sounds good to me. 
These should all be hurt, and this garrison, if the game is fair, should be halfway dead. Because they just took this. Yeah, I mean, our, our chance to win is quite high. Problem is, we don't have any siege attackers, but one turn we'll get a battering ram. You'll see, bare minimum, it always takes at least two turns to get a siege tower. We don't need siege towers with this army, but look how damaged they are. So getting here this turn, we've really got them in a tough spot. We'll climb those walls right away, sweep them with raiders, and uh, push through with warhounds. Kazrak will have his victory. Let's continue the siege. And then we'll see what else we can take out down here. I'm excited to have him go in a different direction. I wasn't expecting this direction, but we're going to need money to upgrade him. You know what I mean? It's going to cost us a fortune. He's got to start generating his own cash. It's going to be 4k for that. Um, and then... Yeah, I mean, he's got to get his own buildings. want to definitely keep him focused. I'm doing sort of everything with Torox, but I, I might keep uh, Kazrak really focused. Like, get him chariots and uh, all Vanguard deploy would probably be the move with him. Alright. We unlocked the Cadon Unleashed. So we summoned enough Cygors in our battle to get this unlocked. So we're going to get two more transformations of Cadon. And then one more use for Savage Dominion. God, that's awesome. So the other one summons Manticores. But we have, I mean, we're going to get more Cygors. We saw how useful they were in that other battle. get this done. They're not recruiting here at Ice Spire. They went back and retook the Witchwood, but that was a mistake. They had an extra nine units here at this garrison, and now we're just going to run over them and then hit Ice Spire. And we just made all of our stuff cheaper, which is also very good. Let's go ahead and take this in two turns. Very, very good. And we have the ability to get Bestigors now. Does this stack? Does this stack with the region that we have currently? I'd like to find out. And if it doesn't, we can give the armor to someone else and let them benefit. Um, drenched in blood is nice. Juggernaut is super good. The dazed contact effect is so good. Let's take Gore Feast, however. Gives us the passive ability Strength from Flesh. And then to our Minotaurs, it replaces Blood Greed, but gives them uh, Gore Feast as well. Which is a lesser heal, but also comes with... I mean, it's the same thing, but they just added a heal to it. It's kind of... It's a lot, but it's, it's really good. Yes. We'll see. We'll check out the regen here. You guys done goofed. They, like, killed themselves to resettle this. This is, I mean, this is going to be a joke now. I'm tempted to not even fight this, just because it's such a joke. And they're just going to be sitting up in the air the whole time, cackling at me, shooting at me. No fun. Um, I'm, I think I will auto-resolve this. I hate to auto-resolve any fight with um, unique legendary lords, but this is such... A non-fight. I was looking forward to facing them with the garrison. But they just don't have it. So, we're going to take the movement and the healing. And we ran in the opposite direction that I wanted to. Challenge completed. Slaughter Horde Tribe. Nice. Access the challenges panel to receive your reward for completing the Primal Fury Challenge. Defeated the Sisters of Twilight. So we get big casualty replenishment rate for our Lord, but Missile Strength is not going to do anything. Few things are everlasting. Just as dawn signifies the end of night and dusk the end of day, Ariel's twin maidens are slain. Twilight extinguishes the trait that we gain, and we have unlocked the groove... The, I keep wanting to call them the groove hooves. The grog hooves of Wolf's Run. Where the chariots go, bloodshed surely follows. Okay. So let's push forward back here, and we'll hit Ice Spire next turn. We'll get our heals on. Very nice. Um, 
I like the unit capacity plus one for the Gorgons, but I'm not going to be there soon at all. Uh, let's get Daze. Let's get Juggernaut. The question is not who would let him destroy the world. It's who can even stop him. That's such a good line. Okay, everyone else leveled up too. I should have saw that. Um, Do we hold out for a Tuscor Chariot? I think so. Let's save the point. It's kind of trivial, but not really. Arcane Conduit is huge. Look forward to more casting there. And let's get an additional 7% HP. It's another 400 HP on the Minotaur. Very nice. And with this stance, we finally have time. How much is it to go up to the next level? Dang, we don't have the money for this. Not yet. Not yet. Let's recruit a hero. We can get our first war gore. We got Ungrel here with bonus armor, melee attack, and weapon strength. That's nice. Tactician uh, from Armu and then aggressive here. I'm going to go with Ungrel. We'll check him out. Let's give him the charm shield. And this is the first time I've ever recruited one of these or used them. He's got replenishment bonuses. That's... That's pretty clutch. Um, Forerunner. Okay. Nice. He can give Encourage for Bestigord units. That's kind of cool. Oh, he's got some cool stuff. Instrument of Chaos for even more capture replenishment rate. Oh, this guy is going to let us run the tables. I'm excited. At level 12, that's a pretty early Razor Chariot as well. Mini Limbed Fiend. And he's going to be a beast in melee. Once we hook him up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's just get rid of this guy. Let's also recruit... I can only get one Bestigore. That's so sad. I can get one lonely Bestigore. We'll get him, though. And I have access to some Centigores. I should definitely get those guys. Uh, probably at the cost of these Ungor Spearmen. I just start to worry that in sieges, I just don't have anything to take the walls. Um, like, do I get rid of the Razor Gores for the Centigores? Get the faster moving plus Vanguard deployment might be just playing better. I don't know. It all depends on how I want to play this. Also, getting the Pharaoh Manticore plus Chaos Spawn in here might be sick. Alright. I want the Manticore for sure. The Chaos Spawn... Hmm. I'll keep it like it is for now. Chaos Spawn are 100% better than Ungor Spearmen. Uh, but I just don't want to be completely ineffective at doing at doing sieges at this point. Here, we're ready to fight. It's a Pyrrhic victory, so it doesn't really... I auto-resolve and it doesn't kill anything, which is nice. Uh, but I shouldn't lose anything at all. So we're going to take this fight manually. And we're going to chance to look at Kazrak. For those of you who are new to Total War, uh, you get a chance to look at this bad boy up close. And see what he's all about. He's pretty beastly, pun intended. His strength in his campaign is definitely in buffing uh, Ungors and Bestigors, getting Vanguard deployment, and then rushing in. He gives poison attacks to all of our Ungors, though, which is really nice. Um, let's see, we've got one unit here. Unfortunately, we can't Vanguard deploy with the, uh, the Siege Engine. That would probably be a little busted. Let's do something like this. Yeah, we're going to climb the walls, man. How did I do this? How did I do this? I did this, 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 this. This, this. That's our front line. And they are going to climb these walls right here directly in front of us. No. They're going to climb these walls. And... Our raiders here are going to be sweeping the walls. Surprisingly really good at shooting. Their, their arc is not bad. And they're, with their short range, they're able to kind of sweep the walls for us. Um, 
Let's see, the hounds here. Let's go three. These hounds are going to go and rush into the gate. These hounds are going to go in and rush to the other gate. And hopefully draw a little bit of the defender's fire away from our main, main force. Meanwhile, the harpies job... Be to fly around. If they can pick some stuff off back here, that would be cool. But you guys are going to be my gate attack force as well. And then let's look at Kazrak real quick. It's worth looking at the models, man. And we can also look at the, uh, the battering ram that we made. Big yellow line in the way. Back it up. There we go. It's kind of dark, but you can see it. It looks sick. And then Kazrak here. Best boy Kazrak. Looking like an absolute... You forget how big he is until you put him next to the Ungors, which are basically man-sized. And you're like, oh yeah, he's a... He's like a NBA star or something. Like, he's massive. Okay. Let's make sure we're doing what we want to do. Climb. Shoot. Three, get you guys in. I don't like to pause, so I try to get everything done in kind of a fair manner. This is enough harpies to come and really mess up this uh, Dreadlord. They don't really want to be fighting harpies like that. No, no, no. You need to go. Go, go, go. Let's just stay out of that dude's range. We'll swarm... Those guys will swarm these ones. And here we go. I don't know why you guys did this. I was just bragging about you and you completely let me down. And also they ran our guys were here ran in a weird direction. I wanted I wanted these walls taken as well. This will be down before they even do anything. We're dropping the siege equipment. You guys get in the fight. Get over there. Get over there now. Shoot. Harpies are doing great. They have big weapon strength. I mean, they're naked ladies flying around, but like they have great weapon strength. Easy to forget. Let's let these harpies join the other harpies. A little bit of extra survivability in numbers. And we're taking a lot of damage on our raiders. Get out of range of this tower and these dark shards. No reason to just let them beat me up. The gate's about to go down. Yeah, I mean... That's why these things suck, the battering rams. It's like they wouldn't even have got in. Let's go, let's go. You go there. You go there. Kazrak, let's go. We're in. Warhounds, y'all broke the gate, guys. You can go in. It's safe. Get you helping, Kazrak. And get you chasing there. You dropped your orders. That's okay, though. We can we can keep doing it. We'll figure it out. And you guys need to attack. Attack something. Attack anything. Yeah, I don't know what all these... See all these dropped orders? I don't get it. It's a bug. It's been in the game for a while. And they're not going to do great versus her, because she does have armor. But once Kazrai gets in, he's going to start beating that you-know-what. Like, if they start climbing the walls, obviously we can't get them. Chase, please. Don't just stand there. And these guys are on... 
They're unit locked. They should be running to get these kills. Anyway, nice easy battle for us for our first battle with Kazrak. Kind of a soft target. Look at the harpy kills. I'm telling y'all, don't sleep on harpies. I learned the value of flying units like them from my first ever Vampire Counts campaign in Total War Warhammer 1 when I thought the Vargeist were the coolest units in the game. Go in with a couple Felbats, let the Felbats take the damage, they're worth nothing. And then follow them up with the Vargeist and they just get in amongst all the squishy dudes, especially on the walls. Their value was always in sieges on the walls. They just, they just dominated. Your little cheap skeletons are climbing up. The bats are tying stuff down, but the Vargeist with their big weapon strength were just going to town. And I always tried to have as many of them in my armies as I could because I thought they were super cool. But the Harpies function like worse versions of them. They're almost like in between Felbats and Vargeist. That's kind of how I look at them. And that's good money. We've got lots of dread too. We should spend that this turn. See what we can get. I'm going to take the raise. I'm going to run back here. I'm not worried about going into encamp sta uh, stance. We'll get the hooves. Let's just heal up. You need to get in this army. And because of that, we need to let somebody go. Probably just one of these Ungor Spearmen. And you know what, if we're doing that, let's do this too. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's the deal here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I have more than I thought? Is there some bug here that's letting me get more than I'm supposed to be able to get? Huh. This feels like a bug, guys. Is this... I mean, I, I don't really like to exploit bugs. I don't know if that's what I'm doing right now. Or did I just not have uh, space available in my army? So it just wasn't letting me recruit? I don't know. Razorgore Chariots and Centigors with Throwing Axes. Centigors with Throwing Axes would be a very helpful inclusion in this in this particular army. Um, probably should get Shaman's Flame Pit. But anyway, let's see. We also unlocked Primal Fury passive ability, which is great. We're going to get that soon. Let's go look at what we can do with our Dread, y'all. Until I get more uh, Marks of Ruination, I can't really mess with these units too much. Um, and there's really nothing here that I need to get a ton more of. So I'm going to pass on the unit caps for now. Uh, Lords and Heroes, we've already got Kazrak. It's weird that it's even giving me the option uh, here. I feel like this should be like grayed out or something. Uh, I could get more War Gores or more Gore Bulls. I can get one more Gore Bull. That's probably worth it. Or I could save up and get the next tier of Herdstone. That might be my next upgrade. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this and get another Gore Bull. I'd also like to get another uh, War Gore. But while I'm sitting here, boom. I can get Nurg. Nurg, I mean, Nurg's a cool guy. Everybody knows that. Corn's Fury, this guy's got Fury. Uh, I mean, that's that's pretty strong. And then boosting, mm, I take, I take army-wide boosts pretty highly. Plus four leadership for my entire army. Uh, could be just what the doctor ordered. But once we're all high tier minotaurs and gorgons and stuff, it's not going to be that relevant. I might just want strong. Let's go with Nurg here. He's got he's got Moxie. I like that. Who are we getting rid of though? Maybe the chariot. Maybe the chariot just doesn't fit. 
It's been good. It's been great, actually. And the chariot's probably better than the Razor Gore herds, but I like these dudes just to take damage. And with that, we're going to also get the four... Let's see, the four characters, four heroes in our army, which is going to give them Guardian, which is bonus 15% physical resistance, which is just excellent. I think that was a good play. I felt like that was a good play. And then with our cash here, let's get the Shaman's Flame Pit. I can get a caster for Kazrak, I hope. That's what his army really needs. We can get maybe like a Lore of Beast caster for him. Yo, you know what? Actually, we're, we were saving up for a bloodied lair. Is what we were doing. I mean, even getting Miasmic Ruin right here, just to get a little bit stronger of a garrison, wouldn't be terrible. We're a hundred away. Yeah, let's save. That's a big investment in our future. I think we need to get that. This is, I mean, we're basically not going to do anything with that for now. And then we also need stuff on Kazrak. Alright, let's do it. Let's roll another turn. Okay, but I'm happy because this is a pretty big augment that we're doing to our army right now. This is, I mean, these are big upgrades. Additional training. And additional replenishment. Huge. And what I need to do right now is... Uh... Yeah, let's just jump. We'll take Ice Fire next turn. I'm still getting replenishment, which is awesome. Hmm, I can't get in the water anywhere here to go deal with this. We did pass that skull that was up here. It's still there. If I end up making this kind of route this way, um, I want to take that. Because remember in our Oxiato campaign, they gave us 20,000 gold. Uh, so if that's an option, I want it. Come in here and start raiding. I want to go for the soft underbelly while Kazrak is attempting to level. Oh my god, Marathi's right there. our chance to ambush over a raiding stance which I really want I think we're gonna get the ambush though no she's she's recruiting she's recruiting so she probably won't she's not gonna move either she's gonna cancel her recruitment and go somewhere else or she's just gonna stay here and recruit so us going into the stance doesn't do too much I do want to upgrade the Hagtree Copes, but I'm not I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to raid. Get us the favor that we need next turn. And then if I go into here, I think getting the heroes is a really great option. Uh, like, I could get us another Wargore, send him over to Kazrak for some, you know, some help for him. Okay. Let's roll this turn. Four grand. No, we'll pass. Marathi's not going to be a pushover. She's a strong lord and caster. Plus, she's got a hydra. Um, I don't know if we have great answers for a hydra. We have some ungor spears. We've encountered the redhorn tribe. What are you guys all about? We're, our reliability rating is low, so let's just take what we can while we can in terms of forming a relationship with them and hope that they don't just get insta wrecked. Oh, they've got Ariel, but they don't have an army. We have no way of interacting with her outside of uh, her being in an army. This is an incredibly easy victory for us. And she should just die here. Sucks we never got to see her in battle. The Queen of the Wood Elves. And Ogre Mercenaries, finally! Do these guys... Okay, these guys are going to take income. 
for sure, right? So Ogre Mercenaries might actually suck in Beastmen armies, because everything for us is free. If we start putting them in our army, then we got to worry about paying those dudes. I honestly don't want that. I think they'd be great calf for us, for sure. There's some good spells we're kind of leaving on the table here. Um, I'm looking at more like Bracegreen or Traderkin. I like Traderkin a lot. Let's get this. Let's get Traderkin. And we have some big options here. We can only get one of these. Strength of the land, passive ability. Uh, we'll give him missile resistance and 23 armor for himself and anybody around him. So we stack him with a bunch of minotaurs and he gives them a bunch of armor. It's very good. And missile resistance, not to be understated. Uh, if we go here, we get bonus 15 melee attack, which is also huge. Uh, this is more for if we want to use him as a hero character on the, on the campaign map, which not really interested in that. This will give minotaurs terror, which is great. Uh, but I don't think we need it. We need to win the fight. I'm going to go for Strength of the Land. I usually play a little more defensive. Or favor more like defensive type bonuses. I think maybe even than most people. But I think that's great. That's a great pickup for us. Uh, replenish Troops. We're going to build into that. And be happy we did. And our Gore Bull here. Get him a little extra melee attack. And that's nice. Kazrak here of course is not leveled. Challenge completed. Ogres, my lord. These brutish nomads are as strong as they are stupid, but do not underestimate them. They are hardy warriors and will cannibalize any foe that dares to cross them. Right. If I could bring them into my army without having to deal with uh, paying them, that would be incredible, but I don't think that's going to happen. I can still go here, talk to them, and get them to, uh, like, join our recruitment pool. That might not be a bad idea. Just get them into our recruitment pool, and if I want them, I can get them. Um, I could also pop this right now um, to get the next tier. I think it also would give us an, an army capacity upgrade as well. We are here, right? I want to get here. And it would further reduce our horde building construction costs. Interesting. It's an option. And she sat here, man. Marathi, what are you doing? We're coming for you. In terms of recruitment here, we're good. I should have got the uh, other regiment of renown in Kar uh, Kazrak's army as well. But let's go. We're going to get multiple fights off of this. Should not be like a... Yeah, they say I'm getting defeated. Uh, they've got some armor here, but we're going to swarm them. We're going to swarm them, shoot them to pieces. Uh, really focus the Hydra. Hopefully get onto Marathi and beat her down. What level is she? Level 5. She's not going to have her mount. But she does have her item somehow. All right, let's go. We're taking out all the uh, the beautiful elf women in this episode. Yeah, I mean, I think our front line matches up okay. We're not using straight, like, terrible ungores. And our hounds and harpies are going to get onto those dark shards. I don't expect them to do that much work. Although, I mean, she does have a master. Maybe that could be a little annoying. I don't know if Kazrak can beat down both of them. Probably not. Oh, but if we could... Oh, yeah. Okay, she doesn't have the reinforcements. Yeah, this is going to be... Okay. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't I was worried. I'm not going to say that. But if I was worried, I'm a lot less worried now. If she was able to form up with the entire army and make like a really strong... type of force off the bat with a good front line from the garrison with a lot of dark shards, I would be a little more worried. Let's get our hounds here. We're going to be feasting. Hounds. No, no, no. You guys are three. You guys are four. Harpies fly over the top. Um, Let's go here. 
And then Kaz, oh, Kazrak actually is also Vanguard deployable. Our entire army can Vanguard deploy. That's what you want. I like it. We're going to keep that in mind as we continue to build his army. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, you're going to get wrecked. We're going to get charged. But when we get charged, sandwich them. Now send the harpies out there. And here we go. Chase, chase, chase. Everything's looking good. Now we need to shoot the Hydra. And we need to get our large units on the Hydra. Uh, this is a little annoying. The Dark Riders are going to help them. But everything on the Hydra. Keep pushing through, guys. But the Hydra is getting dunked. Let's slow-mo it. And watch it do work if you guys have never seen the Hydra before. It's a pretty sick model. Might get some cool animations. But even just a few Raiders. This thing isn't heavily armored at 60 armor. Uh, they're going to be able to put it in a trash can. And the Destroyers of Drakwald are doing poison damage. They're anti-large. So they're going to do quite nicely versus that. That's a good unit for us to, to fight there. Charge here. Can back, back our guys up a little bit. The Black Ark Corsairs with Hambos. These dudes are pretty cool looking as well. But I think we've got them surrounded enough that this fight is pretty well won. It's just how fast can we beat down Marathi. Kazrak should be in here being a, just a monster. With the uh, the Blackhorn Ravagers. A good unit to have in this type of scrap. Good weapon strength. Let's crush them, man. Alright, let's go normal speed, normal speed. There goes the Hydra. That probably counts for a lot on their balance of power. Marathi just overcast and missed. Okay, we need to get out of here. You need to go there. You need to go there. Let's go shut these dudes down. And we can put real units on these targets. Now the War Hydra regenerates. We can't just let them sit and regenerate. You just say Chaos Girth? It's a little inappropriate. They have some Dread Spears helping them out. Move our forces forward. The real fight isn't here anymore. It's back here in the scraps. And we're just going to keep being scrappy. These Black Orc Corsairs are pretty strong. We're going to get behind them and shoot them in the back. Don't let them escape. Get our Warhounds chasing off everything that's routing. This is a bigger prize here. We gotta get the Hydra off. Off the battlefield. Double Harpies on the Dark Shards with shields. You would think they'd be routing a little bit better. Oh no, they broke right away. Okay. Okay. They got a nice little Bastion of Strength there. The Death Hag has come in. Marathi is still fighting, huh? Shoot in from the side here. The Hydra has been escorted off the battlefield. You get there, you get there. Don't let them catch you. No reason to let them catch us. Kazrak is taking a beating, but he's winning. 104 armor. Not terrible. Let's take off. Guard mode. I want to be able to chase. Let's actually scoot up here. The hounds don't need our help here. They're going to get this. Who needs our help is everyone having to fight Black Ark Corsairs with their 80 armor. We're not doing great versus them. Alright, get that death hack out of here. And we do not want Marathi to be leading this army anymore. 
This was a good fight. This felt like a tactical good fight. Which is what I like. Let's get everybody chasing something. Harpies are still doing the Lord's work. Fast forward it. Because we're going to have to fight this garrison again. So I'd prefer not to uh, let them walk away with... I don't remember which units belong to what. But I think I'd, I'd rather not fight a bunch of Black Ark Corsairs in the future. They're actually a pretty good hard counter to my army. They mulch through light infantry, and they also have enough armor on their own to be defensive versus light infantry. And they're a little bit resistant to missiles as well, and the Hambo variant can do, like, huge work versus Beastmen. If I'm playing multiplayer on the ladder, like, and I'm playing Dark Elves versus Beastmen, they're, they're, they're a good unit that I would, I would certainly consider. They'll beat everything but best of gores. Give you a little utility too. Because you can kite. You know, if your opponents want to bring gorgons and stuff like that, they want to play around with the big monsters, just kite them. You're not going to be able to completely get away, but they'll waste a lot of their time trying to get into melee with you, and you'll just be doing damage with the hambos the whole time. Or just take the standard variant. But Marathi still managed to get 143 kills. I didn't see her casting a bunch, but I'm sure she was. Probably getting those uh, those dark doom bolts, I think they're called. She likes those. She likes to drop those. The Hydra, thankfully, we didn't let it do a lot of work. We sniped it. I think we put three raiders on it. Plus the, uh, the destroyers of Drakwald, who, I mean, the Ravagers, they both took kind of the brunt of the fighting for us. Uh, but they did their job. I'm hoping they didn't die. Uh, looks like we lost the Blackhorns Ravagers. That sucks. That indeed does suck. But defeating Marathi is nice. We get her benefit Hag Butcher. Her dark magic, demonic packs, and evil ways have counted for naught in the face of superior arms. Cool. And then let's get Horns of War for Guardian. Let's level up Kazrak before we go for the day. Um, with Kazrak, I think we will go for his blue line. And we are quite hurt. And I will lose... Oh, God dang it. You know what, guys? We're going to call it for today. I don't. I didn't want to take another battle. It's going to take a while. Uh, but I don't want to lose uh, my Destroyers of Drakwald. I might actually even take this off camera. But thank y'all so much for watching. My name is Brett. Channel's Good Talk Gaming. And as always, y'all, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoy the videos. Take care.